street oh, and nice. then we had like our friends like be outside the window like and it, like wait and she poured sugar all over us like she dumped sugar all over us while we were like singing we German. were like staring at each other like that singing <laughs> oh, shit. What well because well um it was very long ago it was I like last your shit there. disappeared <laughs> Uh, find it, find it, Anthony. We need you. We need you. We need uh, the viewers. That sounds like fun. What's the last project you did? Last project I did? Yeah. This is so... I this is recordings for Death Cab. I've been working on this ongoing Death Cab versus the Mole people, and I'm just, like, editing, and I've been editing for months, and I'm trying to get it done before we tour in, like, three weeks, and I'm always here. Your new album? Your new well, no, that, it's you like should get an album. We're doing, uh... We're doing a lot. So we're doing... We're recording our Halloween album that's going to come out around Christmas, no, around Halloween, and then uh, I'm editing The Mole People, which is a comic book that later will be video. Yeah, I saw the, themed. are you guys having another video shoot? I'm sorry, I missed the last one. Um, We're done, we're done for now, but I mean, we're always doing video, like we just did the short called uh, The Horrible Experiments of Dr. Quack, where I played this like mad scientist. Quack! And, uh, what did you do? I drugged people. Oh, you're so bad. And I mutated them into my slaves. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> I, I, I wish I, I wish someone would just make my decisions for me, really. Sometimes it's easier that way. I think there's too many options. I know. Well, if you if, if you have too much freedom, really, you just get you just get ungrateful. <laughs> <laughs> like me like me that's my problem i just got out of a relationship because i started being shitty to them and ungrateful yes yeah, we broke up on the way here like on the bus on the way here yeah text message breakup oh jesus you didn't text message breakup you remember <laughs> kelly you can't do that <laughs> you can't anthony So you, so you basically, that's how, is that how you like, uh, you toss people out of the door, you just get so shitty to them till they're like, I can't take it no more. Cause that's usually actually my method as well. But I'm trying to be a good boyfriend these days. Oh my gosh. Well, that's good. I'm glad. How, um, long, wait, no, go for it. What were you? You should just ask me questions. Okay. Well, well, okay. So, so what kind of shitty things do you do? Oh, well, I'm pretty manipulative. I'm a Scorpio. Uh-oh. Yeah. My mom's a Scorpio. Is she a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> she, lives with my, she lives with my grandma. Oh, my... Oh, shit. So, no. Oh, uh, yeah. She's she's getting humbled. Yeah. You get what you came to ya. You get what you came to ya when you're a Scorpio. <laughs> we should start beats. Beats. Should we have a? Do you do like song interludes? It's radio, right? Yeah, I can play stuff. I have the power. What the What have you been spinning all day? Just tell today me I've about been doing your a lot spins. Of, I made people watch me uh, restring my guitar three times because yeah. I put the strings on wrong. And uh, what did I play? I, I think your stuff is the only stuff. Your stuff and my stuff is the only stuff I played today. Oh my god, they probably hated that shit. <laughs> yeah. So was that your last performance? Like, so, like, uh, there was yours, was the uh, last projects one with the sugar out the window? Um, well, I guess I, I, um, I, I can't even remember at this point. I've just, I've done... You have. I haven't done like a performance art in a really long time. Like a like a. So what is the art of performance? Narcissism. 
Is it? Well, that's part of it. Yeah. It, I mean, like, I guess it's subjective, whatever, whatever, you know, like, every person has their own individual, like, way that they want to perform, but, like, essentially, like, that's a lot of, a lot of the part of it. Yeah, I've been, narcissism. I've actually kind of been, like, struggling with, like, writing lyrics or like music in general because i'm trying not to come from such like a egocentric place yeah like all my early stuff i look back it was just like either being heartbroken or wanting to kill everybody yeah and now it's uh i don't know it's like it's like feeling empty but in a good way yeah but then it's like well i still want everybody to like stare at my face and like buy my records or whatever yeah yeah, I mean it's it's fun to be self-serving, um, but it's also like there's like an empty aspect to it, and like I think that it's good to just keep like fluctuating through different mediums. Like I like to work in a lot of different mediums. Yeah, I see. I think that that's um, when one gets stale, you just focus on what you feel. Yeah, yeah, I believe in that too. That's why I don't understand why there's. It must suck for, like, people that are, like, famous that are, like, stuck. They, they didn't branch out and they do, like, one thing and they're, like, I'm trapped playing this fucking ACDC song, like, 30 years later. Because they don't know how to, like, express themselves any other way. <sighs> so well, it's, just- like, um, well, I guess one more thing that I wanted to say was, like, getting into art that's more, like... That's just connecting with more people and not just like, just not just about like my personal experience and my personal perspective of the world. Like something that's more like encouraging people to take action yeah. on things and like you utilize like their freedom of choices and utilize like their critical thought. Cause like that's what sets us apart as human beings is like the way that we interpret the information we're being given, you know? Like, it's less about, like, what the information is that you know, but and more about, like, your individual perspective on that information. Yeah, it's, that's why um, I dig, like, abstract stuff so much, because it's, like, you just put, like, a color or a shape out there. And yeah. It's so much meaning, depending yeah. on the person's capacity. Or yeah. Um, so how I saw um, Orphan Goggles released a new CD, or at least last time Harry was at the, um, Harry was at Native Fauna's house and he had CDs out. Oh yeah. Or maybe that was for his solo stuff. Did he just release a Harry Cloud CD? Uh, he did. He, what's it called? It's the one with the Christmas tree on it, but yeah. And then Orphan Goggles released one called Meat Face Has Eyes, uh, not too... Shortly before that, Ooh, meat face. What Just inspires? Really what inspired the uh, mole symbolism of your current work? The mole symbolism. Well, mole it, it's actually symbolism. Kind of like a, it's like a backstory. It's not. I mean, I'm sure there's symbology there, where it's derived from. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. It, it's just kind of like a history. Like, my father used to be part of this mafia called the Silver Sidewalk Mafia. No way. In Detroit. In Detroit? Yeah. There's like, a mafia there? Yeah, not really It's anymore. like a gang. It's, it's basically stuff with organized back in the day. But anyways, and, like, people always think I'm crazy when I, like, tell this. So that's why we, like, incorporated into fiction and kind of did, like, completely over-exaggerate all points of it. Yeah. But, um... Anyways, there's these people living underground, and they used to have this deal for them, like, the mafia would hide bodies and weapons and, like, illegal things under there. And yeah. And these people underground wanted to come above ground and assume uh, political control to a degree. And what happened That's with, the, crazy. with the Silver Sidewalk Mafia was it was... Um, That's crazy. It That's fell awesome. apart due to the Spumoni Brothers Mafia. And... My father and the mom. I've heard of the Spamoni brothers. Yeah, they they weren't they weren't able to uh, fulfill their promise, so they like made a pact to like destroy everyone in the the family or the bloodlines part of this group. Yeah. And me being one, uh, we used to hang out with my friend Micklock, who lived underground as a mole person, and uh, me and my friends used to sell fake drugs when we were like fourteen to fifteen because we thought it was funny. And there was this dude all hyped up, this wigger guy, and he shot Mick Locke. 
which was really fucking fucked up. Ooh. And Micklock's uh, uncle was Darvell, who is like the leader of these people or whatever, and he was really like hostile and shit. So he's was just like fuck fuck you fuck death cat fuck the silver sidewalk mafia mm-hmm. and that's kind of what the comic gets into like uh our scuffle with them although it was a ways back yeah oh my god that's crazy fun time everything sorry i'm just getting like kind of distracted <laughs> from all, all the, the sound yeah, yeah you it's want like the headphones they help me focus I could give you the other ones if you want, like, uh, okay. or if those are fine, whatever you want. Yeah, so do you usually like, have a, g- a lot of guests on here? Sixty-nine. 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 Sixty